In these problems, we're doing some multiplication, and the only complicating factor is that we have some negative signs. The rule here is that a negative times a negative, this actually works for division too, so if it was a negative divided by a negative, you'd, you'd do the same thing. A negative times a negative is a positive. It, so this one, negative 3 times negative 4, that's going to be a positive result. And then it's just 3 times 4, so that's 12. If you have an even number of negative signs in any multiplication problem, if you had 100 numbers to multiply together and there were 98 negative signs, it would end up being a positive number. If you had an odd number of negative signs, it's going to be a negative number. Let's look at this next one. We have 6 times a negative 9. Well, 6 times 9 is 54, and we just have one negative sign. That's an odd number, so it's going to be a negative answer. So negative 54. Here, we have a negative 5 times 6 times negative 3. Well, let's just do the number part first. 5 times 6 is 30 times 3. Well, 30 times 3 is 90, so the number part is 90. For the sign, I'm just going to count the number of negative signs, and I've got one, two negative signs. Well, a negative of a negative is a positive. That's an even number of negative signs, so the answer is going to be positive. So 90 is our answer. So that's a little bit of work with multiplying signed numbers.